hey guys welcome to protocol as point okay so i got a comment from one of my subscriber you can read it over here so he was saying that he is in the final year and he has a project idea for his final year project so basically he want to create a node.js project that will work similar to s3 bucket okay so s3 bucket is a service that provides you cloud storage where you can store data on the cloud and uh, store it uh, over there then you can retrieve it whenever you are uh, wherever there is a need of that data okay so uh, my uh, subscriber want to create a similar uh, s3 bucket service without using amazon services okay so he want to create a fresh new service that will uh, provide you uh, file storage on the cloud okay so let's create a node.js project in this tutorial and let's try to uh, replica the s3 bucket services in our node.js project itself without using any external apis okay so let's get started so this is the first part of our video tutorial so in the second part i'm going to create a node.js project uh, where i'm going to install different kinds of models such as express.js fs library path and everything okay and we are going to give a project uh, proper structure to our node.js project okay so let's get uh, started okay, so let's get started by creating a node.js project in our visual studio id okay okay so now we are in our visual studio ide and let's create a project by creating a folder okay so i will just create a new folder on my desktop okay i will just name it as Okay, so let's make this folder as Node.js project. So uh, let's open a terminal. Okay, so inside terminal, you just need to type npm in it. Okay, so here it will ask you the package name and other details of this project. So I will just uh, keep it as it is and press enter. Okay, so our Node.js project has been created. Okay, so now let's create an index file and uh, app.js file over here. Okay, so I need to install few uh, packages such as express, uh, fx library, path and everything. So let me install it. Okay, so to install you just need to enter npm i and let's give a package name. So this is the module name you can say. So you can just uh, give space and enter as many as package that you want to install. Okay, so these are the libraries or modules that are required for our project that is express, fs library, body parser, crypto for uh, encrypting the data, mongodb that is mongoose, multer for uploading files to our uh, folder, okay, and a path to get the path of the particular folder, okay, so you just need to install these packages. Okay, so after installing these packages, you can verify if the package was successfully installed or no. Uh, you can see over here. Or you can just go to app dot, uh, package dot JSON file and under dependency, you can see this, uh, these are the libraries been used by this uh, uh, project. Okay, and here there is a node model being created. So inside this, there are all the packages been downloaded. Okay, so now let's create a server by making use of express and let it run on our uh, 3000 port okay so now here in app.js we need to import uh, express package so let's do that so that we can make use of express to create a server okay and any data that comes from front end or any data we uh, pass in uh, in request.body to root read it we need a library called as express uh, parser so let's import it also okay so now let's create a instance of express package by making use of uh, by storing it in a variable so here i will just store it in a variable app okay something like this okay and then uh, we need to initialize this body parser to our uh, app application okay so for that over here app dot use body parser dot json okay now we just need to export it so model dot export 
okay so now let's go to index.js and create our server by making use of this express okay so let's open this index.js okay so here first of all we need to import this package so app.js sorry uh, the code the file so const app is equal to require okay so import this thing okay and now here i will just uh, create a variable port and let's give it as 3000 so our server will work on 3000 port okay so now app dot listen to port okay so this is the callback function so whenever our app is listening to a port 3000 or whenever our index.js runs the our server will work on this port 3000 port and here I will just print on which port the server is running by making use of log. Okay, so just save this file and let's run if and see if it is working index.js. Okay, so you can see the listening to port 3000. Okay, okay, so now let's check if it is working or no. So for that, here I will just create a root uh, API. To which whenever we hit a local host 3000 port I will just show a message on our browser so for that here I will just create a dummy root so here so get method app dot get method okay so this is root and here let's create a request response function okay so request response okay so here uh, response dot send okay so let me save this file let me run the index.js okay and now here uh, localhost 3000 so if i hit this you can see our uh, backend is responding the uh, tag or the text that is been passed from our backend that is uh, hello world okay so our uh, server is ready now okay uh, so i will just give a proper structure to our uh, node.js project so i will just uh, create a partition for example uh, not a partition so i can say it as mvc pattern model view controller okay so we will have a model a view a controller a service uh, by which our application works and it is the standard to create a node.js project okay so let's create it so here first of all let me create a folder and name it as route okay i will just create one more folder and i will just name it as you can name it as config so in this config folder i will just give all the configuration of database connectivity and everything okay and then let's create so here outside uh, let's create uh, middleware So middleware can be used for user authentication purpose okay and then a model a database model so whenever a user uploads any files or documents in our server uh, that record will be maintained in our uh, database mongodb database okay so for that i will just i'm just creating a model over here okay so that's it uh, in our uh, backend so here uh, i have created a configuration for a database con connectivity a middleware for authentication purpose and uh, for uploading files all will be done in this middleware so this is the database uh, model schema that will be created by making use of mongoose and here uh, api route for user registration user login and uh, storing or creating files or uh, buckets in our server will be done uh, in this route hey guys welcome to product orders point okay so this is the third part of our tutorial on amazon s3 bucket like service by making use of node.js okay so in this part we are going to work on database so we are going to make use of mongodb database to store all the data of a user like uploaded uh, data so when whenever the user uploads any files in a server we will just keep a record of the uploaded file in our mongodb database okay so for that we need to create two database one is user schema model and one is uh, upload schema model okay so let's get started with it
okay so first of all let's work on database connectivity so in configuration file over here just create a file and name it as db.js okay so this uh, file will help us in connecting to our database that is mongodb database okay so for mongodb database we will make use of mongoose library as you can see over here so it has been installed so if you want to install you can just enter a command that is npm i mongoose okay so it will get installed in your node.js uh, project okay uh, so here we need to import our mongoose so const mongoose required mongoose okay so importing mongoose package okay so for database connectivity here let's me create a connectivity a variable and let's make use of mongoose dot create connection okay so here we need to pass two parameters one is uh, the url of our mongodb uh, so our mongodb is in localhost so i can just uh, make use of uh, localhost uh, url so localhost is 127.0.0.1 okay and the mongodb will always work uh, work on port number 2 seven zero one seven okay so after that here we need to give a name of our database so i will just name it as uh, bucket s3 bucket so i can just name as s3 bucket okay so this is our database name okay so here dot on so open on open so when this will get opened here we will just show a message on the screen and then here on error okay so when there is an any error being found uh, during the connectivity we can just show a message on the screen okay so here what i will do is i will just print a log okay and in error so i will just print mongodb error so i will just print as mongodb error okay and now here model dot export connection okay so now uh, if i want to run this file or all, all i need to do is i need to just navigate to configuration file and run this uh, db.js by making use of node okay so cd config node db.js okay so you can see our database got connected okay so this is the file for uh, database connectivity okay so now let's create two files for uh, database uh, uh, tables you can say or a collection you can say so first one will be our uh, user model so i will just name it as user model.js and second one will be our uh, upload model uploads.model.js okay so in this uh, schema we will store all the data of a user like registration will be done in this table and uh, whenever a user want to upload any files uh, into a database so the record uh, will be maintained in this table okay so let's uh, create a schema over here okay so let's uh, work on uh, user schema model so first of all we must import this db.js file in this file so here cons db is equal to require configuration db.js okay and here we also need to import our mongoose uh, model so here mongoose okay so from mongoose uh, we need to import schema model so for that const mongoose so from mongoose package i am going to just import schema okay so you can do is something like this okay so now let's uh, build a user schema model so for that over here const users schema is equal to new schema okay so in user schema i will just store two data one is username and one is api key so this is the dummy project so i'm just storing two data of a user that is user name and uh, api id okay api key you can say so here 
so we just name it as user so the data type will be okay and the second one will be a api key so that will be also of type string okay and let's create a timestamp also and make it true okay so here in timestamp we will uh we, it will automatically store at what time this record was been created means when the at what time the user has registered himself okay okay and now const user model is equal to db dot model and here we need to give the collection name so i will just name it as user and here i just need to pass the schema that we have created above so this i am just passing over here and this is the collection name where uh, this data will get created okay okay so now by making use of module dot export i will just export it okay so the same thing i need to do in upload also so what i will do is i will just copy this thing and paste it over here so here i am just importing database connectivity mongoose library so for a mongoose library i am importing uh, schema model uh, schema class okay and then here i will just change the name to upload schema okay and here inside this i want to uh, store uh, data of a uploaded file for example which uh, user has uploaded this uh, data i need to store it over here so i'll just remove this thing and here i also need to import user model for referring the uh, user id okay so here const user model is equal to require model user model okay so here i am going in this uh, schema i am going to store user id so user id something like this so here uh, so the type will be schema type so schema dot type dot object id okay and the reference will be from our uh, user schema model model name okay and then i want to store file name that the user has uploaded okay so this will be of type string and which type of file it is that is mine type okay so this also i can keep it as string okay and the path of the file where the file has been uploaded on the server okay so this also i can store it as string okay and now let's use this schema and pass it over here and i will just change the database name as uh, table name as uh, upload so in mongodb we call uh, tables as uh, collection so i can just call it collections or anything okay so here user upload U -P -L -O -A -D, upload model okay so our schema has been created as you can see okay so let me open my mongodb compose and let me show you a dummy uh, data that i have stored before okay so you can see here i have a bucket task so it has it has two collections one is user collection and one is upload collection so collection i have registered a user so the user's data will get stored something like this so as you can see username is rajat and the api key pro uh, given to this user is this okay and when the user has registered himself the data will be stored in this created data okay and the same thing whenever this user a particular user uploads any files to the server the same record will be maintained in this collection for example so you can see this user has uploaded this data to the server okay so the data uh, mime type that the, the document type is of type image that is jpg and this is the file of the path or, or the path where the image has been stored okay so this is how we can just record the data so for this we need to create the api okay so in this tutorial we are going to create a route by which a user will be able to register himself into our database okay so let's get started 
okay so we can create apis in this route folder that we have created in previous tutorial okay so here i will just create a file and name it as user routes dot js okay so in user route dot js all the user events such as registration login will be done in this file okay so to create apis uh, api route we need express with router so first of all we need to import it so import it over here so const router require express okay and then from express i want to import route okay so now by making use of this route i can create a okay so i want to create a, a registration api so i will just name it as register okay so here we need to accept two parameters one is request and response from the front end okay so this is the callback function okay and then finally we need to uh, exported so to export we can make use of export uh, model export and you just need to export the route that we have created okay so registration the like database after whenever the uh, the user makes use of this api or hits this api we need to register the user into our mongodb database okay so uh, we need to do it over here okay so let me add a try catch block over here okay so now inside this we need to register the user to our database okay so in our previous tutorial that is the third part uh, i have created the api uh, sorry the the user user schema model uh, where we are going to store username and api key into our database okay so here we need to import this file okay so let's import it const user model okay so now whenever the user want to register himself by making use of this api we are going to pass one parameter that is a username so you can just check this model okay so here the user will pass his name okay so that name we need to register into our database by creating a api key for him okay so let's create it okay so over here uh, so in the request we will get the name from the uh, front end in a body tag okay so here we can just accept it something like this okay so from request dot body we are going to accept name parameter okay like this okay and then we need to generate a api key for this user okay so for that we will make use of crypto graphy okay so you can see this is the package we are going to make use of to generate a api key so let's import it crypto require crypto okay and now what i will do is i will just create a string okay so i will just name it as variable string is equal to name plus new date dot now okay so so i'm just uh, storing my name and today's date that is the registration time date uh, i'm just concatenating it and storing it into a variable so that by making use of this i can uh, create a api key for this user okay so it will be unique for him okay so now here i want to create a api key const api key is equal to crypto dot s set two five three two five six sha two five six here we need to pass our string that we have created this one and here we need to uh, we need to convert it into two string okay and you can just uh, keep it as it is so what i will do is i will just uh, split this api key so it will just generate a long api key for me but i want only certain uh, parts for example you can say 18 characters i want so i what i will do is i will just make use of slice and cut it slice i will do and i will just take the first 20 characters from this api key okay okay so our api key has been generated by making use of name and uh, current date 
okay now i want to store the user data that is name and the api key into our user database okay so for that here i have imported this model okay so now const user created so i will just create a variable is equal to user model so name and api key okay so i am just directly passing this as name and api as api key because my model uh, schema the name is same so you can see so the character are same so if you have named something else over here for example you have named it as username then you can just define it something like this so user name so inside username we are going to pass name okay so in my case it is name so i can just pass it something like this or i can just pass it like this okay so user created object has been created now i want to save this data into our database okay so for that i need must make may, uh, i must make use of await user dot save okay so here await is going me an error because this function is not a sync type so i will just uh, change it to a sync okay and then i want to uh, response the user that the user has successfully been uh, created okay so for that what i will do i will just make use of this response dot json and i will just pass this data okay so i will just pass a status as 200 and success okay so our api route has been created so it has been exported so we need to use this or initialize it in our uh, app.js by making use of express over here okay so you can just uh, do it over here so express dot use okay and first of all we need to import this file in this app.js file okay so let's do that so user route require api route user route okay and now here you just need to declare this thing in root okay so now let me run this uh, project and check if it is working or no so i just need to run index.js and everything will uh, get started okay so you can see it is listening to port 3000 it is saying and mongodb has been connected okay so this is working because uh, in api route i have made use of uh, user model and in user model i have imported uh, uh, this database connectivity file okay so now let's check if it is working so what i will do is i will just open postman okay, so you can see so I'll just create new thing postman what I'll do is I'll just take this parameter. Okay, so our API is API route. Okay, and inside body parameter, I want to send a username. So name. Okay, so I will just enter my name. Okay, and the data type uh, data that is of the JSON type. Okay. Okay, so let me hit okay, date time is not a constructor. So here it is showing me an error. So let me fix this. Okay, so date time dot now dot uh, get time. Date time date dot get time. Okay, so let me save this thing. Run the code go to postman and hit it okay so you can see user has been created with status code as 200 okay so now let me open my mongodb database and let's check okay so you can see our database name is s3 bucket like okay so i think so the database will get created okay so you can see so inside this we have a user and there is a user being registered so in our previous part we have created an api route through which a user will be able to register himself into our database okay so while registering uh, his uh, account we have accepted a name his name 
that is the username and then here in the code i have created a api key so that whenever he want to access our system he can make use of api key to make uh, use of our service okay so so i will just show you my mongodb database okay. so this is the uh, register user and you can see the api has been generated over here of this user okay so now if a user want to use the service he can make use of this api to use our service okay so for that in this part we are going to create a middleware we are going where we are going to check if uh, user passed api is valid or no okay so this uh, middleware will work uh, as a authentication for the user okay uh, so let's get started okay so to create a middleware over here i have created a folder called middleware so here let's create a file and let's name it as auth.middleware.js okay so here uh, in this file we are going to uh, create our middleware for authentication purpose so here first of all we need to import some uh, files that is user model we need so let me import it okay so now let's create a function that will uh, help us in authenticating so for that i will just make use of export dot uh, user auth so this is the function that i'm going to create a sync so here in a sync function we need to accept uh, three parameters one is response request and next okay so here in request we will get a requested data from the user and this is the used to response back to our front end or whenever wherever uh, this has been called so we are going to make use of this and this uh, is been used to go to next step after this middleware okay uh, so here i have created user middleware so i will just name it okay so this is the function so let me add a try and catch block over here okay so if there is an any error so i will just print it on the screen okay so now here uh, in request the user will be uh, sending his api key in the request dot query so let's uh, accept the api key so for that const api key is equal to request dot query dot api key okay and now here you know, let's validate it so that if user do not pass any api key then we need to show a proper uh, warning to the user so here written request dot json okay so if a user do not pass anything then we are just showing this message to the user that api key is mandatory okay so now uh, after checking this we need to check if the api key exists in our database or no and to which user it has been uh, ex uh, given okay so for that we need to talk with our uh, backend uh, database okay so here get user is equal to await okay so here we have imported user model so we will make use of it so user model dot find one okay so here if i go to this user model you can see there is a api key in this schema okay so we can make use of that okay so api key i just need to pass the api key that the user has sent okay and if the user exists in our database as you can see over here so if this user uh, exists then this data will be passed uh, from the database to this variable okay so now let's do that so if get user so if it is if it is null so if this get user is null then it means that user do not exist and this api key is invalid okay so we can just uh, show the message to the user that api key do not exist okay and now if a user exists then there will be some data in this and this statement will not work so it will just come over here so now in request i need to add this user okay so that i can make use of uh, request and uh, do next task okay so here what i will do is request dot user is equal to get user okay and immediately i am just calling next function 
so now what happens over here is all this data that is being stored in our database will be uh, fetched in this variable and uh, uh, as the user exists we are going to store it in request.user so that we can make use of request.user in next api or next function or next task of the api call by making use of this okay so let me save this thing okay so now what i will do is i, I need to check this uh, middleware so for that uh, what i will do i will just go to this user route and here i will just create one more api so i will just name it as login you can say so i'm just using it for testing purpose dot post method or you can just use get method also so i will just make use of log okay post method okay so now here request response okay so let me make this function as a sync okay and now here in between so in this api call that is a uh, route i need to attach the our api so middleware i need to attach it over here so for that i need to import this file over here so here i will just import it require middleware auth middleware okay now let's attach it over here so we'll just name it as auth i will just sort it auth dot this function okay and now over here uh try and catch block i need to attach yeah so log log error so in try catch block in request dot user we will have a data after this task has been completed okay so we can just do it so if request dot user so if you uh, if there is any data in request dot user that means that uh, we have passed this authentication middleware and we have our user data in this variable okay so now what i can do i can just response the data on our uh, front end so return okay so request dot user okay so let's check this by running our code okay so you can see the message it is running on 3000 port and mongodb has been connected okay so let me open my postman okay so to make the request here let's change it to post method so http okay localhost 3000 port our api uh, route is login and here we are going to pass a api key something like this so question mark so this is a query and this is the data the key and value okay so let me take the api key from my database okay i will just paste it over here okay so now if i hit this you can see we get the data of a user in this success json format okay so we have some completed our uh, middleware uh, where the user will be able to uh, login into our system and access our system by making use of api okay so let me explain you one more thing okay so here whenever this api has been called so first this middleware will get executed and here in uh, this function i am going to check if the user exists in the database or no so if it exists then we are going to uh, get the data of the user and send it to the next task okay so the next task is of this function is this thing so this function is the next so here in request.user we get the user that is been added from the middleware so in this part we are going to learn how to create buckets in node.js project by making use of fx library so fx library is a library that will uh, give you access to work with system files okay so we are going uh, going to create a files by making use of api so for this i am going to create an api route through which a user will be able to give a name to a folder that he want to create okay so let's get started okay so here is my project so in the route folder i will create one more file and name it as i can name it as similar to s3 dot route dot js 
okay so in this file i'm going to create apis uh, that will perform various tasks like creating a folder getting all the list of folder uh, getting list of files in a particular folder deleting a folder downloading a files from a particular folder so these are the things that will be done in this files okay uh, so let me do it one by one in different videos so in this part we are going to learn about how to create folder in uh, node.js project okay so let's get started so here first of all we need to import a library uh, that is fx library so you can just import it something like this okay with this we also need to import a uh, express router so what i will do is i will just go to this file and let me take whatever i need okay and paste it over here so here from express library i am importing routers uh, function okay so with this i will be able to create route in this folder so let me create the uh, api route okay so I will, and i will just name this api as create bucket okay so this is the api route i have created okay and here i can add a middleware where i am going to check if the user is uh, authorized to use this service or no okay so in my previous tutorial i have created a middleware through which uh, i will be checking if the api passed by the user is valid or no okay all i need to do is i just need to call this function in this file okay so for that here i just need to import this auth middleware okay and now here auth dot user middleware okay so now whenever this function is been used this api is been used first of all this function will get executed and if the user is authorized to use our service then he will be navigated to this function okay uh, now let's create a bucket by making use of request okay so for this i need to get a folder name that the user is willing to create so I will get the user folder name from body folder name okay and here i will just check if the folder name is passed by the user or no just for a validation okay so if it does not exist then i just need to return response back to our front end or to the user okay so if user name your folder name is not been passed by the user then i will just show a message to the user that uh, folder name is mandatory okay okay so now to create a folder you can just uh, give a location where you want to create a user folder okay and uh, what i will do is uh, for this tutorial i will just create a folder over in this folder itself so that it will be easy for me to show the folder been created when this api is been hitted okay so what i will do is i will just create a folder over here something like this so i will just name it as root folder okay and in this folder uh, the user desired folder name folder will get created inside this root folder okay so i'll just delete this folder okay so everything i need to do it programmatically okay so i was i was just showing you how the folder will get created okay so here root folder okay so root folder name i will just name it as root folder const uh, folder path is equal to uh, dollar root folder plus the folder name that the user is willing to create okay so this one okay so inside the root folder this folder will get created okay so now here uh, i need to add a try and catch block okay so inside catch i will just print the error if any error has been found okay and now here in okay try block here i need to check if root folder exists or no okay so if a root folder exists then i need to create i need to only create this uh, the folder that the user want to create inside inside the root folder else okay and else if a root folder do not exist then i need to create a root folder also and with that i need to also create the folder that a user want to create okay so to check if the root folder exists in the uh, project or no 
uh, I can make use of FX library. Okay, so FX dot exist sync. And here you just need to pass the root folder name. And now here, if root folder exists, then this statement will get executed. Okay, and now here I need to also check if uh, the folder that a user want to create uh, is been already exist in this root folder or no. Okay, so I can do the same thing, sync, and I can just make use of uh, folder path. Okay, so if the use uh, root does not exist, then I need to create it. So to create it, what I can make use of is fx dot make mkdir sync with uh, folder path. Okay, okay. So now after uh, successfully creating a folder inside root folder, I want to show a proper message to the user. Okay, so that a user that the folder has been created. Okay, so I will just do it like this. Okay, and I just need to change this uh, bucket created. Okay, and now let's go to else statement. So else statement is if root folder does not exist, then I need to create the root folder also. Okay, so here. Okay, so I can just do it like this. I think so. Bucket created. Okay, and now if both this condition does not ex execute, so here is a slight changes. Uh, what I will do is I will just create a root folder first, and then if uh, this folder do not exist, then I I will just create the folder that a user want to create, and then I will just view a response back to the user that bucket has been created okay and if both the condition do not match means if uh, folder exists both the folder exist then i just need to give a response to the user that uh, bucket already exists okay so now let's check this api if it is working or no in our postman okay so i will just run this okay yeah okay i, so I just forgot one thing I need to export this uh, routes so module dot export route okay and in app.js I need to import it so that I can make use of the API okay okay so now I will run this project okay so running on port 3000 mongodb connected okay uh, now let me open postman okay so here I will just uh, give my api name that is create folder create bucket okay so with this i need to also pass my uh, user api key because uh, i need to author authenticate the user to access our service okay so api key i got from mongodb so in my previous uh, tutorial i have shown that okay so this is the api key that I am just passing over here okay and now in body tag we need to pass a folder name in a JSON format okay so I'm just giving the folder name as subfolder1 so folder name is the key and this is the value okay so if I open my project okay so body dot uh, response request dot body dot folder name so this is the key okay so I will just hit submit and let's check okay so you can see bucket got created so let me check my project okay so you can see inside root folder there is a subfolder being created okay so i can just pass folder 2 and you can see over here okay so i'm just pressing and you can see folder 2 got created so in this tutorial we are going to list create an api that will give us all the list of uh, buckets that is the files um, by just uh, hitting this api okay so let's get started so here i will just create one more route and this will be a get method so as we are going to get all the files from the server okay so i will just name it as get all buckets Okay, and here uh, let me add a middleware. 
for authenticating the user to use our service by making use of the API key okay okay so now here first of all I need to import a library that is path to get the directory I will just import it okay so let me check if the path is been installed yeah so it is there okay and now here let me create a variable so it will be a root folder root path is equal to path dot join and here i just need to give a root folder name okay so this is the folder name i just need to give over here okay so now in fx library there is a library uh, function called as read directory through which we can get all the list of folders that is that exist in this root direct uh, root folder okay so let's make use of that so fs dot uh, read dir yeah so this one okay so here the here it accept two parameters one is the path of our root okay and the second parameter is a callback function that that holds the folders or the documents or folders that exist in this path okay so here let's name it as files okay so now whenever this function executes uh, this will be a array so inside this array we will have all the files that exist in this folder okay so now i need to iterate to all these files by making use of uh, array or for loop or anything something that iterates to the array okay so for that i will just make use of filter from array library okay so for that so here uh, let's create a variable and let's name it as directories okay and now here files dot filter right so now here um, const path is equal to path dot join root path dot file and finally return fs dot s status sequence file path dot is directory okay so i am using this is directory because uh, this function will return all the files and directory so it will also read directory as well as files that exist in this folder but i only want uh, this api to read only directory so i'm just using fs uh, fx statics with uh, each directory function okay and now uh, we get the directory over here okay and now finally if directory exist then I just need to response to the server the directory file uh, response to the user the list of the directories okay so here I can just respond with something like this okay so now let's check if this API is working or not okay so I will just restart my server okay so this is my postman okay so API P is uh, API is this okay so here i am just passing api the middleware for middleware i am just need to pass the api of a user okay so there is no need of any body tag for this okay so now if i send it is showing yeah so i just need to change it to get method okay so let's wait i think so there is an error okay so there is no response okay so after checking i got to know that uh, i was using this function so this function was not getting executed due to some error so after changing it to uh, read directory only without sync uh, the code got executed so you can see the output over here okay so let me run it again and so i will just stop it execute okay so this was the response that i got
okay so now here so this is the api so if i hit it you can see i get the folders that exist in this uh, directory so what i will do is i will just create one more directory over here okay and let me hit the api so you can see i got the recently created uh, directory also okay so in our previous tutorial we have created two apis through which a user was able to create a folder that is bucket in our case and he was able to get all the list of uh, folders that he has created okay so in this tutorial we are going to create an api through which a user will be able to upload any kind of file into a bucket that is a folder okay so let's get started so for this we are going to make use of a library called as multer okay so it will be a kind of middleware that will help us in uploading a file in a particular folder okay so let's get started so here in the middleware you can see I will just create a file and let's name it as multer middleware okay so here we need to import three libraries one is fx library one is path library and one is multer library so in our previous tutorial we have already installed all of those okay uh, so let's import it Okay, so these are the libraries that are required and I'm not going to type all the functions so I will just copy paste the code so that I can just shorten the video. So you can just get the source code from my website protocoldaspoint.com. So I will just share the link in the description. Okay, so here I have created a function that will help us in uploading a file. So let me explain you. Okay, so here is a function named upload and it returns a multer with uh, which will store the data into a particular file that the user has defined for example you can see over here inside query i am just sending the user will send a folder name through which he want to store his file okay and here i just need to make change it to route root folder yeah one second okay so inside root folder if you want to upload the file in subdirectory one and he just need to send the folder name from the front end or else in uh, by making use of postman and inside this file the folder will the file will get uploaded okay uh, so this is the function that will help us in uploading the file to a destination okay by making use of callback functions and everything okay so you can just get this source code from my website okay and now this file let me save this file okay so now let's go to routes and let's create a route so we are uploading the file so i will just make use of post method upload file and here uh, we must import uh, authentication user authentication so this is the middleware okay and after uh, passing this middleware that is uh, verifying the uh, api key that the user has sent uh, then the next task is to upload the files into a desired location okay so for that i must import this multer uh, middleware okay so let's import it over here okay so here require middleware multer okay so i can just do one thing so i can just add it in flower bracket so that uh, from this multer uh, file i want to import this function okay so i'm just adding it something like this okay so now here upload so this is the function upload dot single my file Okay, so now here uh, if request dot file okay so if request dot file has some data that means the file was successfully been uploaded to the uh, to the folder that is been given okay and now from here i will just give a response back to our user okay so i will just copy paste this code and i will just change the message as file successfully uploaded 
okay uh, so i just save the file so let me run this code and let's check if it is working or no okay so i will just go to my uh, postman okay so here so the api is file upload okay so the same thing is over here yeah correct so first of all we need to send a uh, api key of a user so let me open my mongodb so this is the api key api key and then to which folder i want to store the file okay so let me take sub folder one okay so to this sub folder one i want to upload my file so here we need to pass in form data in under body tag uh, form data here i need to upload a file okay so i'll just take one image from here okay and in parameter i am just passing this through parameters everything is correct so hit so file has been successfully uploaded i got a message so let's check if it was successfully uh, done or no okay so you can see the file has been successfully dumped into this folder okay so like this i can just change the uh, name of the folder and if i want to change the file i can just change it okay so we'll just do this thing okay uploaded successfully okay so let me check yeah okay so the so it is working okay so now i want to record this file somewhere into my database so that uh, we can easily understand that this file has been uploaded by which user okay so for that i must uh, record it in my database so if you remember in my models folder i have created a uh, mongo schema where i am going to store user id the file name mime type of uh, uh, the uploaded file and the path where it has been stored okay so this all re uh, record i need to store into my database mongodb database okay so let's do it now okay so here uh, yeah. okay so here in this file so let me print this and let me show you so log request dot files so let me save this file run the code again okay and let me upload a file again okay so after uploading so you can see i have just printed a log over here and the, inside this log i have a uh, mime type of the data that has been uploaded that is image so i have uploaded an image uh, which destination the folder has been uploaded means the file has been uploaded the name that has been given to that file okay and the final path where is where it has been uploaded okay so here is all the data of that file that has been uploaded okay so i just need to store this data into my mongodb database okay so for that as you can see i have created a upload model that is the schema over here so let's make use of it and store it into this database okay so for that here cons upload model that require okay so here first of all let me uh, create a variable that will hold the file full path okay so here the file full path will be the destination plus the file name okay so the destination is you can see root navigated to folder name and then the file name okay so i just need to concat it so i can just make use of request dot files dot destination first one is the destination plus request dot file dot uh, the file name okay and now let's make use of let's create an object that will upload uh, store the data into our database okay so for that const uploaded data is equal to new upload model okay so here if you see the upload model so first data is user id we need to pass file name mime type and the path okay so the user id we will get it from the middleware you can see so inside this middleware we have added under request.user 
uh, we have added all the data of a user okay so we can make use of it okay so user id request dot user dot underscore id okay and the second parameter is file name so the file name will come from request dot files dot file name this one okay and the third parameter is a third data is mime type which type of data it is request dot files dot mime type okay and the uh, last parameter is the path that is this one okay so upload schema model has been uh, object has been created so you just need to save this so, so to save this we can make use of await await upload data dot save okay so here it is giving me an error under uh, await key because this function is not a sync type okay so i just need to make it a sync okay so the data will get saved in our database and user will get a response something like this okay so let me show this thing rerun the index file let's go to postman okay so this time let me take some other image or okay so i can just take yeah so i'll just take this pdf file uh, we have already checked uh, this PNG file and everything it is working. So let's check if this is working or no. Okay, so I want to upload in folder 2. Okay, so this time I will just upload it into folder 3 which exists. Okay, so API key folder name that is folder subfolder 3. Okay, so upload was successfully done. Okay, so you can see there is no error okay so in folder 3 let's check yeah so the pdf has been uploaded successfully as you can see okay and now if i go to mongodb compost and refresh this okay so you can see in uh, in my database there is a one more collection called as upload and inside this we have all the data that has been uploaded by a user as you can see so we have uploaded a file that is pdf application mime type is pdf okay and this is the route to access the file okay so let me upload one more thing okay so i will just upload this image now so it's of type jpg upload successful okay you can see it was been successfully added okay and in database if i refresh so you can see jpg image has been uploaded successfully with the path okay so in this part we are going to work on creating an api that will list out all the files that exist in a particular folder that is a bucket okay so let's get started okay so in our previous tutorial we have created three apis one is to create a bucket one is to list out all the buckets and one is to upload a file in a particular bucket okay so now in this tutorial we are going to create an api that will uh, list out all the files that exist in a particular bucket okay so let's get started okay so over here let's create one more route okay so the route will be of type get method okay so here i have created a request uh, response function that will be helped in getting the requested data and responding back to the front end or any from where this has been called okay so here i will just attach a middleware for our user authentication that we have created in our previous tutorial okay so our api is ready so we need to add a functionality to list out all the files in a particular folder okay so here uh, from the front end we need to accept one parameter from the user that uh, from which directory uh, he want to list out all the files for example in request.body he need to the user need to send from which uh, folder he want to get the data okay for example here is a subfolder 2 so in request body dot file name uh, he must enter subfolder 2 okay so here const so i will just name it as bucket name okay and here we must also include uh, validation 
suppose if the user do not send any bucket name uh, then we must show a proper message to the user so return response dot json okay so now if a user do not send any bucket name that he want to list out all the files of a particular bucket then here i'm just showing a message that uh, please provide a bucket name okay so let me add a try and catch block over here okay so now over here uh, we must uh, create a variable that will hold the directory path so let's name it as directory path is equal to uh, path dot join okay so here uh, we need we must enter a root folder okay and the directory from which the user want to list out all the files that exist in a particular directory okay so here bucket name okay so as you can see over here so we have a root folder so inside this root folder there are sub directories okay so root folder and the sub directory from which a user is willing to uh, get the list of all the files okay so this is the path and here for the path i have imported a path uh, model over here okay so to, so now to read a files from a particular folder we can make use of a fx library with read directory uh, function so fx dot read directory so this is the function that we are going to make use of okay so here it accept two parameters one is the directory path okay so from where the user is willing to get the data and another is the callback function so here so here in this uh, callback function will we will have all the data of the uh, of this file for example if a user is willing to get the data from sub directory so in this file there will be a list of files name that exist in this folder okay okay so now over here in this file we will have a array of list of files that exist in a particular folder okay so we need to iterate to all the files and we need to check if it is actually a file or a directory okay so for that we can make use of a function called as filter uh, that comes with array package okay so it is an inbuilt function okay so what we can do is we can just create a variable all files is equal to files dot filter okay so here in this file uh, the files will contain uh, each object that will loop so it will work as a loop okay so this file will contain each file and we need to check if the file is actually a file or a directory okay so we can do it over here okay so over here const file path is equal to path dot join directory path and here we need to join this file okay so now this uh, variable will contain a whole path of this file for example root folder subdirectory 2 and the file name so this will contain the path of this file okay so now here we need to check if this file is actually a file or a directory okay so for that return fs dot that string file path okay so here it has a function to check if it is a file or no so we can make use of is file function okay so if this path if this file is for the example this if is if this file is a uh, file then this will return true or else it will just it do not return anything to this variable okay so now we can just uh, return back the result to our front end so response dot json status true all files okay so now let's run this and check if it is working or no okay and we can just return one more thing over here status true and we can just send a message message that no files found okay now let's run this and check okay. so let me open my postman okay so let me take this url 
get method so the api name is get all false okay and here there is no need to pass this query okay so in body tag raw data json we need to find the buck uh, send a bucket name so bucket name is a folder name okay so folder one api key so api key is being stored in our mongodb database to check if this uh, user is valid or no okay so let me hit and check okay so it is saying no files found okay so let's check folder sub sub folder folder one okay so let me remove this thing and check okay so it is showing a file been found okay so let me check this for a folder 2 okay send so you can see i'm getting the files that exist in subfolder 2 okay so let me check other another file okay so here we have pdf file and a, PA, a jpg file okay so let's check that subfolder 3 so you can see this is how we can list out all the files that exist in a particular folder okay so let me try to solve this so if uh, if there is no files been found then we need to respond something to the user okay so we can do it something like okay so i can just add a if statement over here so if all files if there is nothing means if it is if the all files parameter is null then we can just respond to the user that no files exist okay so now let's check if it, this is working okay so here so ah yeah so in rajat temp there is no file so let's check if it is working or no so it is returning this thing okay so here it is just showing an empty array so what i can do is i can just uh, check if the length of this array is uh, zero so i can do a length if it is equal to equal to zero then resp uh, return this response okay so let me run this again okay so now let's check okay so now you can see it is showing no file found going to create an api that will have an ability to download a file from a folder okay so user need to just specify a folder name a file name that he want to download and the data will get downloaded from that folder okay so let's get started okay so in our previous tutorial we have created an api uh, apis through which a user will be able to create a folder that is the bucket get all the folders that the user has created and upload any files to a particular folder and get the list of files from a particular folder okay so you can see over here so we have created this apis in our uh, folders in our previous tutorial okay so we have also uploaded a files to this particular folder by making use of this api okay so in this tutorial we are going to create an api that uh, will help us in downloading a file from this folder okay so let's create it so here route so we will keep it as get method as we are going to download a file so we can make use of post method also okay so i will just name it as download file okay so what i will do is i will just accept parameters in this api route itself so we can do it something like this okay so first of all we must uh, accept parameters from the user that is from which folder he want to download a file for example he can just give it a folder name over here okay and the file name that he want to download okay and now let's create a request response function over here okay so this is the api and these are the parameters that the user wants to download the file from this folder the user want to download this file okay so here const request dot params okay so here we will just do it like folder name and file name okay so we are going to send it from here okay okay so now over here let's concat this file and create a variable for this file path okay so const file path okay so the file path will be our root directory root folder 
okay and then folder name and then file name okay so here in this file path variable we will have root directory path of the folder or the file that the user is willing to download for example root folder folder name and the file name for example you can see root folder for subfolder one and the file name is this one this number and the png file okay so now here we must uh, include a or attach a header set header to our browser so that the browser will understand that the user is uh, giving in response a particular file and that the browser need to download okay so response dot set header okay so over here uh, content attachment and the file name okay and now over here const file stream is equal to fs dot create read stream okay so this is the function that comes with the uh, fx uh, library to download or read any file uh, any incoming file okay so here we must uh, send our path file path okay and now finally we must uh, make use of fs uh, file stream dot pipe and here we must send the response so this is the response we are going to send it over here okay and that's it okay so let's run it and let's check if this is working or no okay so here this is the file okay so let's go to a postman okay so i'll just paste it over here so localhost 3000 okay so localhost 3000 this is api uh, name the folder name we need to pass it over here okay so we can get it from here so i want to download this file from subfolder one okay okay so let me take this file name okay so let me copy this okay so file name i will just paste it over here like this and folder name is subfolder one okay so let's check if this uh, postman can handle downloading or no i don't know if it, it if it works or no okay so let's check okay so you can see i i have downloaded this file in this postman body okay so let's check this in the browser let me copy this url and paste it over here so now if i enter you can see the file is getting downloaded by this browser okay so let's check some other file okay so i can just take this pdf file okay so we'll just copy this path okay so we'll just paste it over here and the folder is folder 3 so folder 3 enter so you can see the pdf is getting downloaded so in this part we are going to check out how to delete any file from a given folder okay so let's get started so in our previous tutorial as you can see i have created some apis that can function various uh, operations like creating a bucket that is a folder getting all the list of a bucket uploading a file to a bucket getting all the files from a particular bucket and we have also done with downloading a file uh, a particular file from a given bucket okay so in this file uh, in this video tutorial we are going to create one more api through which a user will be able to delete a file okay so let's get started so over here let me create one more api route that can perform deleting operation okay so the router it will be of type post method let's give the api name as and let's add a async method over here that will be request and response okay so here you can just add this authentication so we'll just do it uh, by doing this a user has to need to pass an api key to access our service so without our api key this will not work so we have done this in our previous tutorials okay uh, so here in request body we will uh, send two parameters one is folder name and one is file name that the user want to delete okay so let's accept that okay so here const folder name file name request dot body okay so here from request dot body i am just just taking these two parameters folder name and the file name that the user sent from the front end okay and now here we need to do a validation if the user has sent this two parameter or no okay so you can just do it something like this 
folder name if folder name does not exist then we can show this message and if folder uh, file name do not exist then uh, we can show this message okay so here return response dot json and you can just pass a message folder name is mandatory okay so the same thing for file so if the user do not pass the file name and then you can just give this response file name is mandatory okay now here the user has passed both this parameter then the control will come over here and now what we need to do is from this root directory i must navigate to the file that the user has passed for example if the folder name that the user has passed is subfolder none then i need to navigate to this uh, file and suppose if you want to delete this file then i need to create a path to this uh, file okay so you can just create it over here so here i will just create one root folder as i note uh, as i know that my root folder is root folder you can see okay const file name or file path okay so root folder plus uh, folder name plus file name okay so here a uh, user has passed folder name file name so this is the file path so we need to go to root folder folder and then we need to delete this file okay so now let me add a try and catch block okay so if there is any error so i will just uh, put a log over here displaying the error on the console okay so now to delete this file we need to make use of fx library so fs library has been uh, imported over here so from fx library there is a method called as unlink okay so by making use of this function we can delete the file uh, provided in this path okay so here we need to pass two parameters one is the file path and the second one second parameter is a callback function uh, that will handle a error okay so here error okay so if if we found any error uh, like the file is miss, missing or the file uh, path do not exist then this error will be caught and the error will be displayed over here okay so here if error exists then i can just show the error on the screen okay and if the error do not exist then it means that the file got deleted okay so i can just uh, view a response to the user that the file has been deleted okay so you can just change this message to file deleted successfully okay so now over here yeah so this one okay so i can just change this to this okay so now let's check if this is working or no so i will just start my project and open my postman to hit the api okay so this is the api so let me replace the api so let me take my old thing yeah okay and then i need to also pass a api key like this over here okay and then in the body we need to pass a json object uh, that where we defined our folder name and file name that we want to delete okay so here folder name and file name okay so over here in folder name i need to pass a folder name and i need to file uh, file name i need to pass over here that i want to delete okay so here in subfolder one i have this file so what i will do is i will just copy this uh, name okay subfolder one okay so here folder name subfolder one and the file name is this okay so now if i hit okay, so it is of type post method okay so you can see file got deleted successfully okay so now if i go to this subfolder one so you can see it is empty okay so let's try once again so from subfolder two i need to delete this file okay so i'll just copy this file and paste it over here and it is subfolder two okay so i'll just take it side by side and let me show you okay so now if i hit so you can just observe so it is getting deleted okay so this is how you can delete a file from a given folder so in this part we are going to learn how to delete a folder uh, by making use of api okay so in our previous part we have created a apis like uh, creating a bucket that is a folder uh, getting all the list of a bucket 
uploading a file to a bucket uh, getting all the files from a particular bucket and downloading a file from a bucket okay and we have also implemented deleting a file from a particular bucket okay so in this part we are going to learn how to delete a file from a bucket okay so let's get started okay so here uh, what i will do is i will just create one more route api route which will be of type post method okay so here let me give the name as delete folder or you can give as delete bucket okay so here we can give a request and response so that we can uh, accept a parameter which folder the user want to delete so you can just uh, give a request response function over here okay so now here uh, from the request in request body the user will send which folder he want to delete for example he want to delete subfolder 1 so he he will send a parameter saying that he want to delete subfolder 1 okay so let's create a variable that will hold a folder name request dot body dot folder name okay and here we, we we must also check that if the folder name is passed by the user or no okay so if the folder name is empty then we need to uh, show a proper message to that user okay so i will just take this thing okay so we are going to just response the user that uh, folder name is mandatory okay now here let me add a try and catch block so that we can catch an error if it is found so i will just print a log over here for an error okay so now inside this try and class we need to delete this folder uh, which the user is willing to delete okay so for this we can make use of a library called as fx library so we have already imported it in our previous tutorial so from this library we can make use of remove directory that is fs dot remove dir sync okay so here we need to pass uh, path of this folder okay so our path is root folder and then the folder name that the user want to delete okay so we need to create a variable over here so let's create it okay so i can just create over here folder path okay so the path is uh, root directory root folder okay so root folder and then the folder name that has been passed by the user okay so this one okay so this thing we need to pass it in this function fx dot remove sync folder name okay and this will get deleted okay so now let me run this re restart our project again and let's check if it is working yeah so after deleting the file i need to uh, give a proper message to the user that folder got deleted like this okay so let me restart okay so api is delete bucket okay so delete bucket so here i have not added a api uh, api authentication so if you want you can just paste it over here and it will work okay so in our previous tutorial we have created a middleware that will authenticate the user to perform this action okay so you can just watch this video tutorial uh, how i have created this middleware okay so now here uh, bucket is the api name uh, api name so the api key is over here okay and in body tag i need to pass a folder name okay so now here i want to delete this folder this folder this is empty so i can just delete this folder and check okay so folder one i want to delete okay so now if i hit this button the folder has been deleted successfully and you can see the folder got empty okay so let me try with this if it uh, if this has a file so i think so this file uh, will not get deleted so let me try okay so this name folder name is sanket i don't know if it will work or no okay so you can see here i am getting an error message that the folder is not empty okay so you just need to validate it okay so i can 
create a new video tutorial on uh, deleting a non-empty folder if you want you can just comment it below okay so that's all for this video tutorial so thanks for watching uh, please do subscribe product orders thank you